Hi everyone. Today in this feature update, we shall discuss about how to enable e-invoice in Genesis Post. So let us start with the demonstration. Post version update, you will find a new menu for plugin manager. Under this plugin manager, you will find a predefined plugin for POS e-invoice. Now I will show you how to configure this to implement at POS level. As you can see, the plugin details are already given and we only need to upload the config files and allocate them to the respective POS site. So let us go to the config files tab. Before we upload the config file, one needs to update the values of the following parameters in the config file. Let me show you. This is a sample config file for POS e-invoice plugin which I am going to use for this demonstration. You will get this config file attached in the release note. Most of the values in this config file is static except for few parameters. Client ID, secret, POS bill and GRT. For client ID and secret, for these parameters, you will get the values from EaseMyGST portal for each customer. Now coming to POS bill and GRT, these two parameters by default has zero as its value, which indicates that GST scheme doc number will be sent for e-invoicing from POS. If the customer wishes to use the Genesis scheme doc number for e-invoicing from POS, in that case, one time setup is required in this plugin, change the value of POS bill and GRT parameters to one, and then save the file. For this demonstration, let me show you the same with some dummy values. So I will enter client 1 ABC and I'm also keeping POSVIL and GRT 0 since I wish to send GST scheme doc for invoicing from POS and save the file. Then you can just upload it. Now let us upload the config file. Let me add a row, click on browse, select the file which you wish to upload and mark it as default. Please note, as per the current practice, every customer has a single client ID and secret. Therefore, only one default file will work. But in case the customer wants to have GSC INY's client ID and secret, in that case, multiple config files with unique client ID and secret needs to be uploaded and allocated to POS site. Now, let us move to the Site Allocation tab. On the left hand side, you will find list of all available POS sites. From here, you can assign the respective POS sites to this plugin. For this demonstration, I will allocate one POS site. Please note, in case you wish to assign a specific config file to a POS site, then click on Config LOV against each site. This LOV shows all the config files that are not marked as default and present in the config file repository. Now, let us click on Save. As you can see, the plugin got updated successfully. Now Genesis POS users can start generating e-invoices. So I end my demonstration here. Answers to common queries. For a customer, I have a single client ID and secret. How many config files do I need to upload for the POS e-invoice plugin? In this case, you need to upload a single config file with the client ID and secret, mark it as default, allocate the POS sites for which you want to enable the e-invoice plugin. Query number two. For a single customer, I have multiple client ID and secrets. How many config files do I need to upload for the e-invoice plugin? In this case, you need to upload multiple config files in the repository with each having a unique client ID and secret then allocate the respective config files with the respective POS sites in site allocation window 
Please note, you need to mark any one file as a default config file, since every plugin needs to have one default config file. Query number three, if there are any changes in the config file of the e-invoice plugin, how do we update them at pause level? Upload the latest config file in file repository and tag it with the applicable size. Rest process remains the same. Thank you everyone. This video was brought to you by Business Analysis Team. If you have any further queries, please contact Genesis Care.